Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing a video on how to uh, winterize these 4.3 LX uh, V6 right here. Uh, we're going to start off by uh, taking the hoses off first. So we'll do the front of the motor. And what you're going to need is a 5 16 nut driver or a 5 16 socket and uh, ratchet. Or, and you're going to need a bottle of uh, antifreeze of some non-toxic uh, RV plumbing antifreeze, home plumbing antifreeze. So uh, yeah, we'll start off with the hoses right now. Undo both of your uh, hoses right here and here for your manifold. Your one coming off your thermostat housing here and down to your water pump. And uh, that's about all for here. Uh, for the front, then you're going to come around the side and you have a power steering cooler right here. Take off this clamp right here so your power steering cooler can drain. And uh, then go to each one of your manifolds and pull off your uh, hoses there so the manifolds can drain. All right, with all of our hoses pulled off, you got them all off. I let the clamps just slide down and stay there. Uh, take your hose here and uh, put it on top onto your thermostat housing. I'll slide that on. Actually, we want to go this way. There we go. Only fit one way on some of them because we're going to pour antifreeze into that later. So, anyways, uh, make sure they're all off. Your manifolds are drained here. And then uh, your power steering cooler is off and drained. And we can get onto our block plugs. All right, now for our block plug. We have it right here, it's a 9 16 You can pull that out, I already cracked it. And if it drains like that, you know that there's not gonna be any rust in it. But if it's got a little uh, bit of rust in there, take something to poke it with, like an Allen key or such, and shove it in there and move it around. And then uh, let, uh, let that uh, get the rust out of there block plug on your starboard side is right in front of your starter I already cracked it loose we'll loosen it off now and pull that out sometimes they're a bit of a pig to get into this boat's pretty easily or this boat is pretty easy so uh, I thought I would demonstrate it on this boat so you can see that this one is running a little slow so you can take your uh, poker and put it in there and get it up in there let me see and I can feel that it is plugged pretty good in there. There we go, there comes some rust. I feel it coming across my hand there. There we go, now she's flowing good. All right, so take your two block plugs and just set them in the intake manifold, that's what I do. They won't move out of there. And uh, now we're getting gonna get on to doing our antifreeze. So take your jug of antifreeze and we'll get to putting it and our hoses now. All right, now with your jug of antifreeze, take it and pour it down your in or your, into your thermostat housing. You can hear it starting to come out. Now go over to your block plugs and make sure there's pink coming out each one. All right, pink coming out the port, pink coming out the starboard. You know that you're good then, that there's gonna be uh, no water in there, it's all pink coming through. You know what I'd say, antifreeze in there and it's got through, so that's just extra reinsurance. All right, now repeat the same thing. We'll dump it in here into your manifolds. I'll put a fair amount in for the video. Now you can come around here and you can see that it's straight out of there like a good fella, nice and pink. Do that to both sides. All right, so our manifolds are done. Our two block plugs are done. Uh, you don't have to worry about your uh, water pump because it's in the back on this model. It's not like a Volvo. Uh, you uh, now just have to make sure that your power steering cooler is drained. So by filling this up with pink in here or antifreeze, it goes down this hose, which goes to your power steering cooler. So if you go over here, you can see if I give this a little tip here, there's stuff coming out of it and it's nice and pink so that you know that that uh, has drained and it has antifreeze in it. 
All right, so that's how you winterize a 4.3 LX uh, Mercury Mercruiser uh, motor. And uh, like I say, some engines may have a little bit of a different variation with uh, manifolds. You might not have the hoses on the bottom. You have plugs on the back of them. Pull those out, make sure there's paint going through. Pretty much the same process for most of these 4.3s. Your block may have twist out plugs instead of 916 or it might have half inch. It all depends who threaded what into there, but it's the same general idea. Make sure your two block plugs are drained, your manifolds are drained and paint comes out of them. Make sure that power steering cooler is drained and make sure that paint comes out of it when you pour it in. And uh, what I do is just give the motor just a little turnover quick once it's done draining. Some people may dis disagree with me, but your impeller has water in between all those fins. So if you give it a little burp, it twists it out and it's not going to hurt your impeller. It's just half a spin. There's going to be lube water in there because that line will have some in it a little bit yet. So it'll push that all out. And uh, it's, a, it's just something I prefer to do. It gets, all, gets everything moving a little bit. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and check out my channel for some more marine videos. I'm, uh, I have a bunch of Volvos on drive lube changes, etc. So hopefully this helped you uh, get your boat winterized and uh, you'll have a safe uh, or a very reassured winter knowing your boat won't freeze if you do it this way. Thanks guys.